Brandy making in South Africa has a long and distinguished tradition dating back 340 years. In celebration of this tradition, Van Rains is proud to present its first 30-year-old brandy, which is also the oldest brandy ever created in South Africa. The name Aura is an amalgamation of the symbol of gold, AU, and Ra, the ancient Egyptian sun god. Aura is more than a brandy. It's the epitome of pure perfection, luxury, and world-renowned tradition. The brandy itself has been lovingly crafted from 30-year-old pot steel brandy and its unique golden color and distinctive smooth as liquid gold taste sets it apart from most South African and international brandies. Aura is a truly unique brandy created with one sole intent, to be the best in the world. Only 107 crystal decanters of Aura will ever be created. Each decanter is a dedication to the 107 years the Von Rains distillery has been crafting the world's finest brandies. In the heart of the Flottenberg Valley, where the Easter River winds its way through the tranquil landscape, lies the legendary Van Rains brandy distillery. The rich history of this cellar dates back to 1845, when the Dutch immigrant Jan van Rijn arrived at the Cape. He established the Van Rains Wine and Brandy Company and with it a proud tradition of brandy excellence. True to its founder's belief that the secret of a great brandy lies in the maturation, the cornerstone of the Van Rains brandy cellar philosophy is excellence in maturation. Here, the age-old skill of the cooper still forms an integral part of brandy maturation in wood. A river runs beneath the cellar, and this underground secret provides for perfectly cool cellar conditions ideally maintaining an optimum maturation environment. The making of the world's best brandy. I'm Marlene Bester and I'm the master distiller at the Van Rains Brandy Cellar just outside of Stellenbosch. Well, I've been in the spirit production industry for the past 11 years. I always had a passion for it, for the production, because it takes such a long time for especially Van Rains brandies. Um, from where it's produced, to where you can put it in a bottle and so, because it's a natural process so many things can change and happen so that is what I love not one day at work is the same. Brandy making is a humbling process because you work with natural products it's not a recipe you're never going to be exactly sure what's going to come out of it and because it's such a long process um, I might put brandy in wood that someone else might take out so you never know what's going to happen. Aura will be a once-off, only 107 bottles, and the decanter that we put it in and the cask around it was specially made for this. It was all handmade to resemble the passion and care that went into the production of this amazing brandy. Firstly, it's a pot stilled brandy, so it was produced by double distillation in copper pot stills and then it went through a 30-year-old uh, maturation process in French oak casks and then after that we picked the best brandies between 30 and 40 years old to come up with this um, product that we now call Aura. Each element of Aura is one of perfection and timelessness. Its entire being creates a symbol of age-old craftsmanship, patience, and attention to detail. To create the stylish crystal decanter, Van Rijn sought the expertise of David Reed, South Africa's foremost craftsman in the ancient art of glass blowing. Each and every crystal decanter was individually handcrafted by Reed, and his patience and dexterity speak to years of love that goes into creating this work of art. As with a crystal decanter, each case is handmade by world-renowned furniture designer James Mudge, Using his unlimited talents in working with natural wood, Mudge has taken his appreciation of wood to new levels with a perfect case for the perfect brandy. The final aspect of the Aura packaging is the signature teardrop-shaped neckpiece created in fine silver by award-winning jeweler Bridget Zitkiewicz. Like all things about this brandy, the neckpiece lovingly adorns each bottle with grace and simplicity. Hi, I'm David Reed. I'm a glass artist and I work from a studio in Worcester. 
the basic concept that we came up with at the beginning was to encapsulate the brandy, to have it suspended within the decanter. Um, after a lot of talking, I did some rough sketches and went to my studio and did some tryouts. And uh, eventually we developed the decanter that we are producing at this time. This was an unusually difficult uh, project because not only does one have to make something which is aesthetic, it also has to have a certain volume uh, for practicality and uh, there are so many different things that one has to, to, to uh, take into consideration with a project like this. It did make it very difficult to develop. These uh, decanters are free-blown, in, in other words no molds are used whatsoever, so each one has its own slightly unique characteristic. Uh, this in itself is a challenge and I work using calipers to measure for the volume, the finish size, so it's, it's done by measuring and by eye to, to create the right size and shape. I'm James Mudge, a furniture designer from Cape Town. I'm proud to be associated with the Van Rains brandy because to make a 30-year-old brandy is a work of a lifetime. I've tried to do that work justice by making a case that is as much of a work of art, I hope, as the brandy itself is. We wanted to make something that would represent the age and the beauty of the brandy that it was going to house. So I centered the design around a brandy still, using the oak as the perfect material because it's, it's what the still is actually made of. This shape is based conceptually on, a, on the shape of the still, um, except it's obviously not curved like a barrel, but it's faceted in the same way. We've got these beautiful uh, tiny little joints which are both beautiful and serve a very real purpose in actually keeping the thing together. We had to be very careful when we made this box. There's an incredible attention to detail involved here because this, the sizing has to be exactly spot on. And we worked to a tolerance of about 0.2 of a millimeter, 0.1 of a millimeter. Anything bigger or smaller than that would have thrown us out completely on the radius of the box. To make a 30-year-old brandy is a labor of love and a work of a lifetime. In the same way, this, this box has been a labor of love. Not quite the work of a lifetime, but it represents the same intensity of craftsmanship and passion that went into the brandy. I'm Bridget Jane Kivich. I'm a jewellery designer and goldsmith living in Worcester, South Africa. It was a privilege and honour to be invited uh, to get involved with such a fantastic project. It's not every day one is working with such special products and you know, having a designer like David Reed making the decanters and uh, having myself been asked to make the uh, neck piece for it has been really special. Um, it's been a challenging concept to design. Um, there are all so many little intricacies that one doesn't think of at the time. The concept started with the shape of the brandy decanter. It's a very simple teardrop shape and from there the brandy inside the bottle is reflected again with the shape of this neck piece um, which simply hangs around the neck of the bottle. It's almost like the old-fashioned stamps of approval that used to feature on the champagne and wine and cognacs. Yeah, I started with um, using fine silver. Um, it's the whitest, brightest metal that you have and it won't tarnish. And um, I simply 
purify the pure silver and then melt it into ingots like this and then from there I roll it to get a flat piece of metal which is then cut to shape and then repoussade which is with a hammer and a punch and slowly work it into the right shape and then finish it off and um, once this is highly polished and finished it then goes to be laser engraved um, with the logo and the name of the brandy on it and then that will be fitted into the shape, soldered together. I make some wire and chain and then that all gets fitted to eventually go onto the bottle um, as you can see here and then that is then soldered onto the bottle and hopefully I don't crack the bottle soldering it on so it can't be taken off. Tasting this superb 30-year-old brandy is a very personal experience. The first impression is of its beautiful golden amber color. Aura is intensely aromatic which is one of its most delightful characteristics. And the aromas are as diverse as they are intense. Orange blossom, vanilla, milk chocolate, pickled ginger, dried sweet figs, and roasted hazelnuts. After a first nose, this full-bodied brandy opens up to a palette of soft, lingering flavors of nuts, coffee, and sherry. The final impression of Aura ends in a creamy, balanced finish that leaves one with a pleasant reminder of all that has gone before. Von Rain's Aura, ennobled by time.